you've no doubt heard about cloud computing by now. But even so, it, while cloud computing has been around for a while, it still is sort of in its infancy in some areas of the world, such as financial services. Hi, my name is Greg Crawford. I'm the editor of Tab Forum, joined today by Nigel Neefsey, CEO of Options IT. Nigel, thanks for being here. Thank you. So uh, on that, that question, Nigel, uh, cloud computing is not necessarily new technology. However, uh, there's still some, um, I don't want to say misunderstanding, but people are still coming to grips with what it actually is and, and how they can use it, particularly in financial services. And I wonder if you could tell me a little bit about from where you sit and being in that space, you know, where that understanding level is. Yeah, so we see cloud computing as the sort of Amazon type model, which is primarily a uh, consumer type driven model. Right. And then in financial services, you need something that's far more rich, something with um, market data, low latency properties, um, application management, a lot more to deliver applications direct to a business as opposed okay. to just providing processing and um, storage resources. Right. So. In our model, we have a private financial cloud, which is kind of a hybrid between um, in-house technology inside, say, a bank or a hedge fund, right. and the, the general cloud type model. So you get the advantages of both wrapped into, wrapped into one. Okay, so um, with these advantages, and you're out there talking to, to banks and, and you know, brokers and buy-side firms and what have you, um, how is their, their understanding, are they, um, are they at a point now where they, they see where, where the value proposition is and, and understand where, the, the, you know, where they can gain from that? Definitely, the whole shift towards the cloud computing model has helped us a lot. If you go back maybe two, three years um, ago, you had a situation where we had to explain that our model was radically different to right. what people have done in the past. Now everybody's seeing all the press around cloud computing and think, thinking how do we adopt that type of model, but it doesn't have the properties that we need to run our applications, where we come in and say, hey, this is kind of a hybrid between the two, right. where you've got the properties of the internal IT, where you can locate trading engines in specific places, you can provide it with market data, <coughs> you can run applications, um, and have all that application management built into it, right. so that the end user on the business side just gets the application delivered. They don't need to worry about how it gets delivered in, on the back end. Right. So it's like quite a shift, um, but the whole shift towards cloud computing has helped us a lot in explaining our model at least. Right, and, uh, and then they can expand and contract as needed without having yep. to have the staff to do that and the exactly. support. Exactly, so it's a <coughs> you pay per application, um, so you know a certain application costs um, a specific amount. Right. There's complete transparency in that, whereas in internal IT you've got um, hierarchies of, of costs where you don't necessarily understand the cost to run a specific application. Mm -hmm. You just have cost centers assigned here and there. Okay. So um, one of the questions I wanted to ask you also was around the idea of, or the issue of, of compliance and regulation. And there, there are more demands from, from regulators nowadays to, uh, you know, to monitor your trading Absolutely. systems and what have you, and then reporting and all of that. And I wonder if that's a concern that you're hearing from clients, potential clients, and, and how you address that. Because I could see some people saying, well, if we're moving this sort of outside of our own infrastructure, there's a risk there. But yeah. it's not really the case. And I wonder if you could speak yeah, to that. Yeah, qu it's quite the opposite. Um, a lot of our clients are now seeing the being a trusted third party where we have best of breed compliance, best of breed processes internally mm -hmm. that are very transparent. and. As a third party, we're not involved in in the business directly, right? Um, so we're almost like an auditor from from the outside in. Okay, interesting. Very good. Well, I think we'll leave it there. So, um, thank you. You know, thanks for joining us again. So we've got cloud computing really making some inroads in, in financial services as a as a secure way to to build the infrastructure, whether it, it goes from the front office, middle office, all the way to the back office. So, um, so it's some pretty interesting developments that you'll probably be hearing more about. So thanks for joining us. Again, my name is Greg Crawford. I'm the editor of Tab Forum, joined by Nigel Neefsey, CEO of Options IT.